Welcome back to Modern Homestead, Alaska. Today we're ice fishing. Come along with us. Welcome to Modern Homestead, Alaska. We are Aaron and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. Oh, Aaron <laughs> just picked me up. We are gonna go scout a location to leave the trailer to take the Argo to get to a super remote lake that we thought we could get to from our house, which we can, but they're saying it would be like seven, eight hours, right? One way drive time on the Argo. So we're gonna see if we can't get closer. There are no like trails or whatever that are like marked on like a map or anything like that, but we're gonna try to find our way to this remote lake. What are you doing, big guy? Setting the pressure to my tires. How off were they? Huh? How off are they? Uh, about a pound or two. What do we got? 3.5 PSI. We are getting packed up tonight to head out tomorrow. Hopefully we can have all of this Ready tonight, we are going on the longest trail that we have ever been on, and we're not going with a guide or anyone to show us where exactly we're going. So we really wanna capitalize all the daylight we can tomorrow. So the night before we're getting loaded up, you are you got a bunch that you're doing, right? What are you doing? Air, fuel, you know, put another bracket on there. I gotta get the anchor out so we have something to get us out in case we get in trouble on our own. Gotcha. Stuff like that. Nice. So Aaron got a cool anchor. We'll show it to you. He. Oh, I didn't get it. So. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. We have the auger is loaded, a shovel, and a paddle in case we fall. Well, that's where it's gonna go in the Fall into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab bags and stuff and start getting our food ready. We have realized if I do all of the prep before we go out on the day trip and we get home after a long, cold, hard rest of the day, it's so nice to have the cotton. So I prepped for the baby rice and we just put on the stove while we were gone all day. And then I made these hamburgers and they were literally, you guys, so amazing that I just couldn't not share with you this kind of recipe, this idea. I don't know if I came up with it or maybe it's been done before, but this is the first time I've done it. But I took some really, really good lean hamburger, diced up some jalapeno, and I also diced up a shallot. So kind of the idea is putting everything in the burger. So when we take kind of the burger balls with us, it's all already flavored. For Aaron's burger, we did blue cheese. That's why it's in two different bowls. I do not do blue cheese personally. I don't like it. And for mine was a really sharp, crumbly white cheddar in my burger, but just any cheese that you want. We seasoned it with some rancher steak rub and some onion powder, and it was literally one of the best things I've ever ate. I just divide it into four burger balls, four quarter pound-ish burgers. And then when we go to cook them, I flatten them and just put them in the cast iron pan with some butter. Amazing, a must try. <laughs> Good morning. We are late because at 11 o'clock last night, we got a call from Caleb and he decided to come home from um, like Nikiski and Sildatna, so several hours away. He came home, wants to go fishing with us, and so now we're having to change things up a little bit, and they have to get his sled and the and then that way that'll sled hold, so we don't have to tighten it out. Yeah, 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 ready. So that's video. what we're whoa, working whoa, whoa. on. No makeup today, but I'm ready to go. Are you almost ready? Yeah. Let's go. Which one's the gas? That one, you're right. This 
show us that face you just gave Caleb. Huh? <laughs> this is like so many memes where the guy just goes <laughs> into the truck. Stop, stop, stop. His hand's in it. Oh, I didn't think good. Damn, dude, that's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think good. <laughs> dad, dad, dad. All right, we are here at the trailhead. We have everything loaded up. So a spot for Roberto. Aaron's getting his coveralls on. Caleb's ready with the sled. Dude, it's so packed here. I don't know where everyone's going. There's a million places to go from here, but oh my. let's go. Oh my God. No monkey. I thought I would correct something. I said, we're not actually on a trail. We are on a gas line. So the gas line runs underneath us and that's why this is cleared and then we're driving on it and it is the bumpiest, roughest ride I've ever been on my life. And then we're parked right next to the gas plant. So I'm not quite sure where the gas is coming from exactly, but that's what we're on. We're not on some state maintained trail. We're on a gas line. We are now headed into the reserve. What you see in front of us um, that we're about to come into is actually the Little Susitna River is in front of us. And then Roberto is out running and he is doing so well. In fact, it's so much more comfortable for him to run alongside of us as opposed to be in the Argo the whole time. It's so bumpy and his balance is just so hard on the dog, but he gets in and out, but he did so good. It's super snowing. Stop, get a drink of coffee. Roberto is running now. It's the best thing for him. So, currently, we're lost. We're backwards, we're backtracking. We made it to the Big Sioux, which is the Susitna River, but it is a massive river system, but it's right back behind us. We're waiting on Caleb now. So we got a little twisted around, but hopefully he'll catch up and we'll be on our way. Ha! <sighs> ah, did we make it? We made it. We made it. <laughs> that <sighs> put the A in adventure. I'll tell you that. It is deep. It was hard. We are literally, check out my car hearts. I am soaked, okay. completely wet. <sighs> this lake is a massive. As, as we pulled in, uh, Aaron already drilled the tip-up holes. And then we'll set those and then we'll put some jigging holes out here. Aaron's just trying to, the snow's super deep. So we're just trying to get out of the wind and the snow for a minute. Get a fire, get everyone dry, get something warm in our bellies, see if we can't catch a few fish. Now we figured out how to get here. Maybe we can do it again. All right. Aaron had an idea. What'd you do? What's your idea? What'd you buy for me? 
Bruno, you made a soft, cushy bed. Did you make a soft bed? Is it? Has a heck of a time. Huh? Use the paper from the, yeah. So these the ones you don't like? Yeah, the ones that. Yeah. All right, you got some new. Show us, show us, Caleb. <laughs> Purple fish. That's some cool looking fish. Only caught in Alaska. Oh Only my in God. Alaska. What did you do with the? I what? brined them and I dyed them. Yeah. And they say it's a way to go. Some guys, we got the naturals too. We'll put a couple of those on too. Yeah. But we're just giving them a shot. Different colors. Yeah. Tried the green and All right, the purple. Alright, put the green in. Yeah. Nice. How many holes you got, Caleb? Five? Now that Aaron has the tip line set and the fire going and we are trying to dry my coat, I thought a good, quick, easy breakfast for all of us. Everything was kind of pre-prepared. We fried up some bacon, added some eggs and peppers and all of that. Fun, delicious, oh, and some leftover green chili. Amazing. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Dang we got the bait up. still. I'm going to use the bait. Alan's big. I saw you, bro. No spray. <laughs> I told you I got next. I saw it. Oh, he is gold. Wow. That's a good one, too. Where's the pliers? Oh. Back there. I'm going to take the snow machine. That's a good one, Cub. Wow. Oh. Baby! It's a good one. A good one? Yeah. So, we ended up kind of like a breakfast taco eggs and peppers and onions and the tortillas fell apart on the way here but it's pretty pretty stinking good oh, two fish already big one Cub got a good one mm -hmm. you didn't get to set the hook on that sucker Cub. Baby. get him out of the hole he's a baby pretty yeah. little guy there you're going you're going all right, I got a new lure <laughs> um, just at the local grocery store. They had these glow-in-the-dark lures, and I like lights and stuff, so Aaron's getting it out, but my little pike. <laughs> got the lure out. <laughs> so. Nice. Oh. You're in third place. Right, for sure. Can you give me... I'm so, in second. <laughs> before, We're before, before you ask why we don't throw the little ones back, Aaron literally read the regulations for the lake that we're on, and the state requires us to not put the pike back in this lake. Look at you still they got your bait. Stock, See it? <laughs> they stock this lake, and the she pike will kill the other control. species, so they don't want the she pike in here. That. He's literally still eating on the bait. Hey, come here, you want to get it? There you go. Woo! Good one, too. Get him away from the hole. Oh, birdie! <laughs> He's all tangled up. Huh. Where are the plaques? I do. <laughs> I get your picture. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs>
change and cheese it after a day of victory. The powder's probably like that. Much. We were off one time. We Yesterday, this is where we were, and I'm just going to show you. So now you can see the tracks and the trail. Hang on. It was so white out yesterday that we could not find this, and everyone was lost that had never been here. We ended up with another group, four or five different people. Found our way using these apps and stuff, but. So we're gonna take a break. It's nine point whatever, almost 10 miles to here before we dip off. So everyone's just gonna breathe for a second. This is the bumpiest, oh my God, brutal trail we have oh, ever been on.
You want another one, Dad? Oh, I'm good, buddy. Thank you. Dude, LeBron's the all-time scoring leader now. He's been in the league for 40 years. Yeah. He was drafted before I was born. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jordan only did what? Uh, 10 years? Uh, he was 9. Yeah. See? They fished it yesterday too, so I don't know. Well, I'm watching those guys, because you know they're going to come off of that point too over there, right? Yeah. But wonder why we're not fishing on the other side of the point. It might be how the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to see what people were doing, but they're right, like dead smack on the point. Pretty good sized lake. Huge. Like I said, if you look at the map on your Onyx, right over there, like once you come on, and you start, if you cut off that way, you can get to another pretty good sized lake. Yeah, I think that's the one that gets up the big one. Hot coffee. They're hanging out eating chocolates. How many tip ups we got now? Six. Six. Aaron, tell us your thoughts on the day. Beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. It's warm. Yeah. It's so nice out. So sweaty. How, how many acres is this lake? Or oh. miles? Oh. It's massive. Huge. I made a breakfast burritos last night. We just heated them up on the pan. We just made some hot coffee. Missed a pike. Um, I didn't set the hook right, but we're gonna get more, right? We're about to nail some. All, all in timing, right? Right. Seems like they hit at certain times, and that's. Just gotta wait for it. Yep. <laughs> this is the life, is it not? the most beautiful. It's got to work for it. it. Takes a little work getting out here, huh, bud? It does. It takes <laughs> a lot of work to get out here. Oh, man. Especially when you bring a gourmet cook. Get a line. Hey, Dad. What? Do you want a fish or not? Because <laughs> I want a fish. Okay, there you go. <laughs> work, girl. She got about a Eight incher right there. Not too big. Camera's deceptive. I literally <laughs> am <laughs> not. <laughs> I am not moved. I picked it up and it went flying over there and no, fell off it, of I the. Threw him over there. It just fell off the hook. I caught it. No, you didn't. <laughs> hmm. Nice. That's a good fish. See what happens when I pay zero attention to what I'm doing? When you beg everybody else to do everything for you? And I'm like, I you. need some bait on here! Hi guys, welcome back to Modern Homestead, Alaska. <laughs> on today's episode, we're going to figure out how to catch pike. Got off! <laughs> I already did, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a better fisher than you. <laughs> Is it my big one? Is it a big one? Yeah, he's pretty decent. He's, yeah. Come on, baby, big one! Fighting more than the other ones. <laughs> Look at that thing, that's killer. Got my hand ready, Dad. Okay. I steal it. 
I saved your pole. I was. <laughs> Serves me right. I set down my pole for one second to hike off into the woods to go to the bathroom. And Aaron saved my pole and caught this amazing pike. Yeah, it's not spinning. I think this guy made me catch a stick. I can't get the hook out. <laughs> he got off on a stick. Hang on. Let's go. There you got him. Let's go. There it goes. Just go. pulled this out of the water with the fish in its mouth. They never are not hungry. <laughs> Always ready for bigger ones. <laughs> Let's tell the truth, Kel. Well, this is my dad's and that's mine. Mine fits in the mouth of his. <laughs> you got a good one? Huge. You know? Nice. Never good. Dude, that one's bigger. Nice. Woo! Two, let's go. <laughs> let's go. That purple. Oh, I'm in last place. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Jumped out of the hole. That's a good one too. Let's go. All right, now it's, nice, tru nice. now it's truly a race to number three. God's country. Bald eagle over here. 
watching our fish, just waiting for the opportunity. Note to self, don't leave the pike near the holes you catch them. Go ahead and put all of them close together. <laughs> Otherwise, this eagle will take the opportunity to steal a fish. This dude literally came to talk to us. <laughs> if anybody's doing any better down here, yeah. <laughs> this seems to be the place to get them. Yeah, there was a group of guys straight off of that point that they had them up the kai and then there was a whole group over there yesterday and today. That other lake that's up and over there, yeah. there's a handful of people up there. Is there? It looked like they were doing well. And I've fished that last year and did real well. Did you? Yeah. But... Good day. Good day, man. Good day. <laughs> Thanks for watching Modern Homestead Alaska. Our gratitude for the day is <laughs> let Aaron catch the big fish. <laughs> you guys have an awesome, blessed week, and we will catch you in the next video. Until then, if you would like to see more of our adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. When you ring the bell, you get notification. Thumbs up and comments help our channel to grow. We'll catch you guys later.